All right, guys, welcome back. We made it to the moon. Actually, no, we didn't. We had many failures, but I quick saved like a boss. By the way, go ahead and tell me in the comments if you don't like me quick saving. I can imagine that might be frustrating a whole bunch. Maybe you guys want me to deal with my consequences or whatever. Tell me. I'm very curious. But for right now, no one has told me not to, so I'm going to quick save a whole bunch. Get what? Why didn't you why didn't you activate your uh your suit there? I told you to. You going to get up? There we go. Okay. Excellent. And you fell over again. Good job, Bob. Good, why, don't you, why don't you get up again? Go ahead. Really, it's fine. Alright. So let's go. Oh, plant flag. Right. Indeed. And this is the... Yeah, there's my awesome flag. Site name. Uh, moon... Actually, I'm spelling it wrong again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Landing. Excellent. Uh, Kerbal... Wait. Kerbins. Wait, hold on. Is it Kerbal or Kerb... I don't know. I'm just going to say we. We are awesome. Awesome. Indeed. Excellent. Let's do an EVA report. The dust is getting everywhere. 32 signs for that. Interesting. Uh, darker midland surface appears to be made of basaltic rocks. Holy crap, that was 120 signs. Damn. That is... That is very nice. Go up in space. Get up here. Hold on. No, get up there. Get up. Get up there. What are you doing? I have so much control issues with this. No, grab it. Come on. Gra hey, get up there. Get up there. Stop getting caught on... God damn it. I have so much issue with this. Ugh. I know you... Hey. You little bastard. Get up there and grab that ladder. You know, later in the game, you can actually get, like, big-ass ladders that you can put anywhere on your ship? Yeah. Just let that sink in. Get some of those. Okay. So, like I said, I don't... Th I, th I said this in the last part. I don't think we'll actually be able to get back to earth we don't have enough fuel but fortunately they don't need any kind of food or anything so I think we would be in good shape to just leave him here and come pick him up later uh, take another surface surface sample I don't know if that'll do more or less you look up in the sky and search for Kerbin and suddenly you feel very small I think he said something different earlier. Where's screen? Nice. There it is. Look at that sexy beast over there. Alright. Let's try this again. Hopefully with a little less fail this time. Oh, come on. I grabbed it. I grabbed it. Don't do this to me. Okay. We're doing this. These people are incapable. They're incapable. I think I grabbed it while moving too fast. That's what happened. Which apparently is bad. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm pressing every button on my keyboard at all at once just to get this thing happening. Alright. What? No, 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 no. Come on. What? Is that surface samples? Let's cancel. Um, is there any other more interesting land around here? Uh, let's go on board. Yeah, bored anyway, whatever. Um, look around here. Is there anything else? Can you get like a crater sample? Is that something more interesting? I feel like this rock probably has some more interesting uh, dirt I can collect. Maybe? I don't know, it all kind of looks the same to me. It's just a bunch of craters. Alright, well this guy, you... You have achieved a lot here today. Unfortunately, there's no way in hell I can get him back. So, I'm trying to think. There's got to be a way I can get the ship back as well. There's got to be a way. I can't. Mm. 
I don't know if this whole thing was just a bust or what. I mean, can I at least get it up into an orbit? I wonder if there's a way to get him more fuel. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I almost don't even know what to do at this point in the episode. Because I have no idea if I should... We never did a crew report. Awesome. 20 signs. Um, I almost don't know what to do here. Because I don't... I think... I could save the ship if I had, like, docking stuff. But there's nothing dock... There's nothing to dock with on the ship. There's no docking port. So I don't know if I could make that work. Hmm. I really don't know. I really don't know. Here's what I will do. We're going to leave this here for now. I'm going to go back to the Space Center. And I'm going to upgrade my ship. And I'm going to make it so I can save Bob. I'm going to make it so I can save Bob as well as... Um... Actually be able to get back. So let's load the To the Moon. To Moon. This one. Not the other one. That one sucked. This guy... We're going to adjust some things. We're going to get rid of these because those are in the way. Um, this guy... This guy needs more fuel. He needs a lot more fuel. Get in there. I will do that. Do that. Lift this up. Okay. Um, hmm, best way to do this, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. One problem I ran into is the main boosters were going off before, I mean, they were still going off and they didn't really need to be. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add more decouplers down here. And I'm going to have... Probably some smaller ones with these boosters. And then I'm going to move a few things around. Because I had these go off really early. I'm going to tell them to stop going off that early. I'm going to move them up here. Like so. This guy. Who's this guy? Oh, we'll deal with the middle part in the middle. And these guys, these should go off later as well. I think they should go off with... When does this guy go off? That's not right. Okay, hold on. Let's deal with this middle part now. This needs to go off at the very start with you. And then it decouples here. This needs to go off... Huh. It definitely doesn't feel right. We'll have it go off up here, I think. Oh my gosh, this whole thing is a mess. I have no idea. Okay. These need to go off when these guys go off. Which is later. We're going to make this later. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what I'm even looking at anymore. Ugh. When do these go off? They go off on stage 4, and they should detach on stage 3. That makes sense. And then this guy goes off on stage 2. I'm thinking. But who are you? What, what the hell is this guy? I have no idea what the stage 2 guy is. Is it... It's that guy in there. That should not be going off yet. That should go off up here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Did we get the middle sorted out here? So we got the first one. And we got that one. When does this decouple down there? Okay. Excellent. These should go off at the very beginning. Then we have these guys who go off with, with these, yeah. 
That sounds right. These guys I want to wait, actually. They're gonna go off later. Which actually doesn't work because they're attached to the first guys. Ugh. Man, that is actually pretty crappy. Hmm. It would almost be better. Man, this thing is complicated. No, these have to go off with these guys or before. That is the only way. Which means that these have to go off down where they were before. Which is extremely unfortunate. Man. But we have a little bit of extra power, but that's not really going to help me too much. Because what I really wanted to do is have these go off later, giving me extra control afterward. Okay, well... I hope everything is actually set up to, to happen right, because we're going to have a quite the little issue on our, man, on our hands here if we can't control this thing. I feel like, okay, I added more, but I don't think I added enough, okay? If I want to do this, I need more power at launch. Just at launch. No other time, just at launch. So I'm thinking... These decouple... Okay, those should be separate. Okay, you know what? I actually think this thing will work pretty well. I actually do. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. And actually, you know what? I'm I'm starting to think other things now. Hold on. So if these go off, these will be done. We'll detach those. And then these can go off before. And then they can break off earlier than the other ones down here. I hope you guys are able to follow any of what I'm saying because I don't even know if I follow. And I have those and... We're just, you know what? We're gonna do, we're gonna do a fail run. Okay, hold on, let me... We're gonna do a fail run. I'm gonna intentionally fail this thing. Just to be, just so I know what we've got going on here. So we're gonna launch it. We don't even have enough power to get off the ground, which is why we do a fail run here. So we detach those. And then those start, which seemingly still don't have enough power to get us off the ground, which is nuts. Interesting. Okay. So we definitely did not have enough power to get up, get us off the ground at all because main boosters weren't going off. Which is definitely what I might call a problem. So this needs to, whatever I'm doing there needs to end. These all need to go off at the same time. That is for certain. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring that back to where it was. Now we're, we're pretty much back at square one. This is crappy. This is just a shitty situation. Okay. Um. Man. Alright, we're going to delete those. Goodbye. We're going to get rid of those two and we're going to build... We're going to rebuild them. I just want them to go back to where they were on the... Uh, the defaults on here at the very bottom. Um, we're going to put more of these on. Yay, more of those, which they didn't even connect properly. Isn't that nice? Ah, oh, God, I hate it when they don't connect right. It pisses me off. Why aren't you connecting right? Hey. What do you... I still didn't do it right. I don't know what the... There's got to be something you can do to make this work. There we go. Okay. Now the, all of these, I want all of them to happen at the same time.
actually. Just for fun, hold on, we're going to see if this works. We're going to see if these on the outside have enough power alone to bring the ship up. We're going to call that a no. What the hell's going on in the middle there? What on earth was going on in the middle there? Hold on. Something was loose in the middle. This is why we do a fail run. Fail runs are important. Something was going on here in the middle. We had some nonsense going on. It looked like... Did this guy just break right at the beginning? That may have been it, actually. That may have been it. Then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to replace that with a little one. With one of these guys. So that it doesn't have all that pressure. Uh, this guy should be going off at the beginning. It can decouple early, though. And get its own thing here. Um, those do not have enough power to lift by themselves. But I think we kind of fixed that. Alright, we're going to do this again. And this time... I just We're going to put smaller tanks on. We're going to do that. This is the grand machine that will get us there. I think, I hope, I really truly do hope that this will get us there. I, you have no idea how much I hope this. This is a real hope that I have, just like a gigantic hope. And you know what? If it crashes and burns, it'll be a good learning experience. That's what we're going to call this, a good learning experience. We're going to put some more struts in. Oh my god, this is going to fail so hard. I think the wings will actually help quite a bit too. We'll stick, we'll just put a few of them on. Because I, I think they actually, they create drag, a little bit of it. So we don't want too many, but uh, I think it'll help keep this ship from spinning around a whole bunch. Which is kind of a concern of mine right now, with the way this thing is formatted. Alright, let's give this thing a go, shall we? I have this horrible feeling that it's it's gonna die. It's it's. Oh wait, hold on! I forgot some. Hold on! I forgot the entire reason why I did this. Revert flight to vehicle assembly, please. The entire reason why we did this was to save uh, Bob. I think it was Bob. I hope it was Bob. Uh, so we need actually another one of these pods that will stick on there like that, all awkward like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be good. It looks super weird, but that'll be fine. And I want to make sure I only have one crew member in there. And it's not Jebediah, because he's an idiot. It'll be this guy. This guy will get it done. Alright. I feel like I'm forgetting something crucial. But it does not matter, because we are ready to blast off. And nothing horrible has gone on wrong yet. Nothing too bad. That guy's overheating. We know which one the small one is because of that. So when that gets to empty, we'll be able to knock it off. And I just realized that some of these other ones too, these guys, they should be in there. Knock those off at the same time. Excellent. More thrust power from me. Now we have absolutely no control over my ship. Uh oh. I don't want to say absolutely no, because it looks like I, I have a tiny bit, but. There we go. Now I have my control back. Perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Begin our lean. Ugh. 
Just a small lean, nothing too big. Uh oh, I'm getting a little bit crooked here. And that is probably a good height. Whew. We still got that dead weight problem. I never dealt with that like an idiot. Ah, well, we have more fuel and we got to the same position, so I am happy. This is what a happy person looks like. Just thrust just a little bit so I can get up here. All right, cut thrust. Excellent. Let's add a maneuver just to see. Yeah, we are crooked as all hell. That's a problem. Okay. And to level this guy out. There we go. Good, good, good. Let's go and fast forward a little bit. And we should probably start thrusting soon. Go ahead and start thrusting right now. Rather do it too early than too late. I'm going to keep my eye on this. As I want to make sure I don't leave it just sitting there for too long without any, uh, without any thrust. go oh my gosh this thing is long okay that's what she said is a joke that I haven't heard for a while seems to be not straightening out very well straighten out better damn it come on straighten out straighten out straighten out what are you doing it is not straightening out Well, hopefully it's straightening out just really little at a time, so by the time this burn is done, it will be straight. I guess it's not the end of the world. If it's not perfect, but I'd like it to be. I am thrusting all the way, yeah. It's just got a lot to thrust. Yeah, we are definitely in better shape than we were before. Okay, throttle down just a little bit actually no we don't need to why the hell did I do that I don't know I certainly don't know you'll have to ask someone else okay not bad not bad at all at this point I'm not really even paying attention to the maneuver so I'm going to get rid of it okay we are starting to get ourselves we ha we officially have an orbit it needs to be a lot better than the way it is, though. Okay. This should be high enough. Although we are awfully close to the Earth's surface. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Alright, out of maneuver. To the moon! To the moon probably have to go around a whole circle here. Not a whole circle, but you know what I mean. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's actually, that's really good. We will do that burn right there. And why in the hell is it so crooked? Why does it do that? I don't, I don't know. Uncrooked yourself. Hmm. That actually didn't do anything at all. Interesting. Oh, you know why? It's because I don't have to worry about the, the green circle. I really just need to worry about the yellow circle. So let's bring that back up. Huh. That actually is not a good thing. I do not want to go over there. 
And according to this, I would crash right into the moon. Let's go ahead and do that. And that looks straight to me. For the most part, anyway. Of course, it would slingshot itself crazy if I missed. But, uh, you know, whatever. Go ahead and fast forward. Uh-oh. I'm too close to the surface. It won't let me fast forward very fast. Well, you know what? This has been a pretty good length episode. I'll leave out this part here. I'll see you guys next time.